much the same formula. Um, I don't think we've done anything too different. Um, I think two years ago we uh, refined and retooled our weight tra training program and our off-season workout sessions, and we just kind of tried to repeat uh, what we've been doing. I, mean, I guess if it has to be something different, we'll probably be trying to get more kids to come. Uh, I think you heard from some of the kids before looking at high 20s and low 30s on a regular basis, so that would be probably the only new thing. Just like any other season, um, you know, we want to compete for a championship every year. Um, my expectation is that we'll be successful enough and have enough points and we may get into the District 3 title game uh, with the restructuring of District 3 and with the PIAA. They're only going to take um, two teams versus eight the last couple of years. So we need to be successful throughout the whole season so we accumulate enough points to get into that championship game. Um, so our expectations are, you know, compete at the highest level we can every single week, including trying to win a league title and we want to win a district championship as well. I think our kids need to stay healthy. I think we need to have cohesiveness and we have to have good leadership from our senior class to we'll learn how to play together and, and you know, accept the roles and just play as hard as we possibly can as a team. Um, and you know, we're just gonna let the chips fall where they might. You know, he's probably going to fall into the role of where Dalton Klinger was. Um, we already utilized him a little bit last year, coming out of the backfield, catching the ball, running the ball. Um, so, yeah, you know, I'm a firm believer that, you know, when you have a playmaker on your team, you have to try and get the ball into their hands, get them in open space. So, yeah, you can expect us to be creative as we can be to try and get the ball to him. And there's other boys on the team as well. He's not, he's not going to just all revolve around him. Uh, hopefully we're going to make defenses um, defend us from sideline to sideline, so good luck. Yeah, and I mean, you know, it's it's been a um, calculated move on our part and myself and my staff. And over the last two seasons, we've been very fortunate to be, you know, at one of the top tier teams where we're scoring plenty of points and we're winning every week and um, that give afford us the opportunity to play a lot of younger guys and so you know some of our kids that were freshmen and sophomores coming in expecting that they're only going to play a GB schedule are now playing on Friday nights for a quarter and a half at a time and you know they're they're going through off-season workouts with the older kids and and you know we have I'm holding them to a higher expectation than what they might necessarily feel that they can give sometimes. Um, and so, you know, we're trying, we talk about the mentality of reloading, not rebuilding. And so hopefully the philosophy over the last couple of years of playing a lot of kids, um, you know, some of those JV kids are playing a game and a half a week. You know, they're playing a half a game as a, on a varsity level on a Friday night, and then they're playing an entire game on Monday evening. So that's a lot of foot, six quarters of football that they're getting an opportunity to get coached and to you know, get better at what they're doing, get more comfortable, and the more reps you get, the better you're gonna be. So um, hopefully that's the formula that's gonna help us continue to just keep reloading, and um, you know, hopefully we're gonna stay on top of the mountain.